Okay. May we start, sir? Yes, uh, Srinivas, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, you can start now. Everything is set. Okay, so KP West ma'am has come, Manoj Sagar sir has come, so, Dafriz Yu ma'am has come. I am waiting for Suji sir. Yeah. I'll call him now. Just uh, ah, Suji sir has joined now. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, okay, okay. I was waiting for you only, sir. <laughs> hello, hello, sir. Yeah, I was waiting for you only because your right. signal was not there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. Now I hand over to Supriya Ma'am and Bala, sir. Bala Chandran, sir. Right. So, a very good evening, refreshing, fantabulous, and fantastic evening, everyone. Hope you all are happy, hail, and hearty. I, Supriya Kumar Velen, management coach, business coach, communication skills trainer, welcome you all along with my co host, Dr. Bala Chandran on the sixth episode of Seed Talk. So welcome all lovely people. And before I take your journey ahead of the Seed Talk, you know the topic of introverts make great leaders. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, although this topic is having a lot of myth, uh, but believe me, this introvert make great uh, leaders uh, are really uh, thoughtful high order thinking or skills they are packed with knowledge we don't uh, listen and to they you. are excellent ma'am please switch off the observant person so 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 turn over to dr balachandar for your forward journey over to you sir yeah good evening to all i am dr balachandar and great to see all the eminent personalities on board and the right topic at the right time. I'm happy to see Dr. Manoj Sigar, the seasoned campaigner, and of course, Suji. And I tried to connect sir, but of course, you are a bit busy, it seems. And, uh, and uh, Ms. Bayes. And of course, Aprosa from uh, Bangladesh. Great to see all the people here and uh, looking forward to that event. And welcome you all on the sixth episode of Sea Talk. And the topic, of course, the wonderful topic. And we are going to fire all your cylinders. Thank you. Over to Supriya, ma'am. Well, my first great speaker is Dr. Susie from USA. Give a big round of applause. I'll welcome him. <clears throat> and if we talk about Dr. Susie, he is, is into human resource management, strategic management, hospitality management, and culinary operations. If we talk about his N number of degrees, he is BSc, MBA, MPhil, and PhD. Dr. Susie has a range of past position in academics, head of the Department of Hospitality, Deputy Director of Research, Curriculum Developer, Academician, Trainer, and Administrator. He also works in countries including USA, Oman, Nepal, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Indonesia. If we talk about his accolades, it's N number again. Honors and awards for the received Best Young Scientist Award, Outstanding Scientist in Hospitality Management, and Chairman Academic Excellence Award. So, over to you, sir, Dr. Susie, and let's see your insights about this great topic. Dr. Susie, yes, sir. Very good evening, everyone. Thanks for that lovely introduction. Um, let me let me go to my screen. Let me try to share my screen. Uh, can you just if um, this is now looking like how disabled my participant screen today? Really. Can you enable uh, me? Shriva, sir, please uh, uh, allow the participant to share the screen. Make him co-host, sir. Yeah, now you are a co-host, sir. You can share it. Yeah. Suji, sir, you can share. Yeah, the yes, screen, yes, huh? yes, yes. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. We can see. Very good evening, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, as per the time of the day. Thank you for this great opportunity to present, uh, you know, this great topic on introverts make great leaders. And normally, I just uh, go into the concept a bit. The concept of introversion and extroversion. 
No, it was in 1921, an influential psychologist, uh, Carl Jung, he presented first time the concept of introversion and extroversion. And in the Oxford Dictionary, it is mentioned that you know, it, it should all start from the personality. You know, the personality as defined by the Oxford Dictionary is a combination of what? characteristics or qualities that form an individual distinctive leader. So, in order to describe that personality, a lot of theories are there, like psychoanalytic, humanistic, trade, biological, genetic theories, and the social cognitive theories, which explain these you know, different kinds of personality. So normally, people be thinking, what is an introvert leader? You can find a lot of introvert leader across the globe. So let us, let us uh, put this thought forward. You know, is it essential for you to have quiet time after being with the people, doesn't it? Do you sometimes feel in an office or in an environment that your voice is not heard? You are participating, but your voice is not heard. Have you found that you are sometimes passed over for career opportunities, no promotion, nothing? If you answer yes to almost of these questions, you might be in the world. It doesn't mean that a person who is shy doesn't or enjoy or collaborate or doesn't have a social network with people, doesn't mean that you are, um, you know, you are not great. Doesn't mean that you are not talking to other people. You are not great. Let's see how the introvert leaders, leaders work. Before that, it's a, it's a small exercise, especially in the hospitality industry when you are in event, people are in front of, you know, the service. They have to hold their smile for long hours. What they do, they will feel forced to smile. It's, it is a really awkwardable kind of uncomfortable situation. That kind of fake smile is something that introverts might feel forced to do multiple times a day. They hate this, but they work behind. How they work? Let's go deeply into that. So, Carl Jung described an extrovert person as a person that preferred the external world of things and people and activation. Why? He described an introvert person as somebody who preferred his internal world of thoughts, feelings, fantasies, dreams, and more. So he had come out with uh, different kinds of functional aspects of the mind. Normally, it will be like sensing versus intuiting as a ways of knowing and thinking versus feeling as a way of evaluating. So some people sense things. Some people know there is something. So for example, tsunami, when it hit the uh, North Island, it was a report that the animals, the, the, the birds, all flew away from that place. They move away from that, it's kind of sense. Some people may think things and they do things. So different ways people will evaluate or how they uh, see a situation. So various testing has done to, you know, to come out with this concept of introversion and extroversion. So normally, as a normal thing, people differentiate introverts and extroverts in these ways. Introverts are gentle, extroverts assertive. assertive. They're mature, extroverts are dominant. Introverts like to be alone. They have strong need for companionship. Introverts are good listener. Extroverts talk rather than listen. Afraid conflicts, but extroverts avoid loneliness. They like deep conversation, but extroverts like to entertain at parties. Introverts hang out with small groups, while others like to be middle of attention. Introverts like to focus at one thing at a time. Extroverts like to meet new people. They work methodologically and prudent introverts. The extroverts while tackle new assignment and work directly. Introverts do not think of money and fame as an incentive, not this point. But extroverts chase rewards such as money and status. Introverts think before they speak. Extroverts take fast decisions. Introverts prefer to express in writing rather than speaking. So you can see wonderful mails coming in office emails that they are very good in writing, introverts and they have a rich inner life. And introverts focus best in quiet environments. So while extroverts are considered as they are fast decision making, they do several things at time, they take risks 
and they are spontaneous. These are normally how introverts and extroverts are differentiated. Common traits described by various authors in different parts of the globe. But introverts bring tremendous strengths to the challenges of a leading team. They can be powerful leaders. So what they do, they have unique qualities that can lead the people. And you can see from the many brilliant accomplished leaders and across the globe, respected figures, GMs and CEOs like Mary Barra, Facebook CEO Zuckerberg, Microsoft founder Bill Gates, Federal Reserve Chief Janet Gillen, finance of Warren Buffet, and you know, various other peoples like gender activities, Emma Watson, all are introverts and they have accomplished a lot of things in their life. Coming back to the history, you can see Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, Darwin, Abraham Lincoln, Roosevelt, Martin Luther King Jr. They all found various ways they, they, they had done great things, great achievements. So how, whether we can say introverts or extroverts who can lead a team, yes. So this all comes to one question, leadership. So normally it is quite confused how they distinguish between leadership and management. Normally is a management is a, lot, is a thing which is linked with a lot of tasks like planning, organizing, controlling, all those things. But leadership is basically about the change and the inspiration, motivation and the in, influence. How they influence people. Dobrin defines leadership as the ability to inspire conference and support among the people who are needed to achieve the organization goals. So people think people who are shy, they are very introvert, they cannot do things, but shyness is not a big reason, you know, to the people not to do things. It's normally overlap. There's a big overlap between shyness and introversion. The psychological, American Psychology Association explained shyness as keep people from interacting with other, even when they want or need to lead to problems in relationship and work. So many introverted leaders, example like Gandhi has explained in his childhood experience that he's level as shy. They also say that gaining life experience helps them outgrow shyness and they learn different ways of handling certain situations. I read a piece of information from Mahatma Gandhi say that when he was first in addressing the people, he was very shy to address the people. And you saw that great leader, how he addressed a lot of issues in issues of India during the British rule and how he was able to gather the, the whole India towards achieving his own objectives through Ahimsa. So he uh, doesn't mean that he's shy and he was not able to achieve those aims, what he decided. And when we think how the introverts and extroverts work, these are two different personality traits and Extroverts recharge their batteries by being with people and to participate in high energy events. But introverts, on the other hand, they recharge their batteries by drawing energy from within themselves. That's the way how it will work. And based upon a study by Can Baylor in 2013, there are five characteristics of introvert leaders which always lead the team. They think first and talk later. They focus on depth. They don't think on things on super, super uh, no officiality. They exclude, they exclude calm. In times of crisis, they have a lot of confidence. They prefer writing to, than talking. They embrace solitude and they are synergized by spending time alone, but it, it gives them some kind of suffer, but they can do wonderful work. And what the intro, introvert personalities really have. They have the combination of listening skill and methodically way of working, bring structure and calm to the organization. They won't make a big fuss. They work in a way that, you know, everyone have peace and kind of calmness in their organization. The combination of listening skills and methodical way of working is commonly used by in the introvert leadership especially in conflict and link. So they will bring, they will listen to all the counterparts during conflict handling times and bring a structure in a systematic order to resolve the issue. 
and they follow a participatory leadership where they listen to everyone, the team members, and they come out with beautiful uh, decision making, not like autocratic leadership, where the leader will tell the team, you do this, you do this, you do this. It's not happening in case of the participatory leadership, especially, especially with introvert leadership. And they follow the shadows of leadership member exchange, LMX theory, where they, they will sit with the subordinates, they will exchange ideas, they will work with team in the department and organization. They're very good listeners. They prefer in deep conversation. They like to capture the needs and deeds of the employees. Wonderful, isn't it? Dear listeners, I would like to take your attention here that the leadership style of introvert leaders has bring a lot of attention in way how they combine, how to share the information, how they collect the view from others, and how they decide things. They have a high quality relationship exchange between the leaders and the subordinate. And introverted leaders use a consultation decision-making style in which the problem or task is presented individually to persons or to groups of people followed by that leader collect the various proposals that come forward and then makes the decision. What a wonderful leadership style, isn't it? And the introvert leaders make use of body language, pictures and image when presenting their ideas. Such a, with a more stringent way of charismatic leadership. And can I put the whole thing together? In this one diagram, the leadership traits of the introverts, they are engaged listener, taking quite time in listening, they're focused, they are methodological, based upon their leadership behavior of informing, consulting, and supporting, they will interact with the group members' characteristics and internal as well as external stakeholders. They will interact with that kind of, uh, you know, these members, wide range of uh, stakeholders with their leadership style of participatory participate leadership and LMX. They create knowledge, they share knowledge, they do wonderful performance as individual, as a group, or as an organization. To conclude, introverts rock. People often think big that vibrant personalities need to succeed in the workplace. That is not really true. Often the quietest people can make loudest minds. They can contribute a lot of wonderful ideas. Unfortunately, many introverts are excluded and they are overlooked or misunderstood at workplace. Hopefully, the news will be over. It's that introverts are finding their voice and the world is starting to awaken to the power of introverted leadership. Let us wait for that. Let us see more leaders coming in during this, especially during this pandemic time. Thank you very much. That was awesome, Dr. Suzy. Thank you so much for your brilliant, wonderful, insightful PowerPoint presentation. It was really catchy and awesome. You threw light on leadership of introverted personality traits, their differences. Thank you so much for enriching us, making us aware what exactly they are. So thank you once again, Dr. Susie. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a, it's a scintillating depiction on introversion and extroversion. Who says introverts are singing violets? Who possess minimum social skills? Here's yeah, the beautiful example given by Dr. Suji. And uh, yeah. He has hit the nail right on its head. And uh, next speaker on board, Afrosa Akhtar Sina from Bangladesh. And yes, a senior lecturer. So yeah, she's there. Yeah, she's a senior lecturer in the Department of English, therefore, Dell International University, Dhaka. Of course, Alvina of ES State of, ES of State, Dhaka, Bangladesh. And looking forward to that young dynamics through throwing lights on this uh, introverts make great leaders. Over to you, ma'am. Is my screen visible, sir? Yeah, you are very much visible. Yeah, but screen Thank is visible. You. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, my camera isn't working uh, for since a couple of days, so I won't be able to share, uh, I, I mean, my physical ex existence with you all, but definitely. I would like to share my experience, but before starting my presentation, the very first thing which I'd like to mention is that, well, who can be a better speaker than me when I think about this topic? Introvert, 
can be good leaders. Well, uh, to me, actually, uh, I am the uh, most serious type of introvert I have se ever seen in my life. It's me, actually. It's no one else. Now, the interesting thing is, well, I joined teaching in 2011, but since 2012, I have uh, been presenting in national and international platforms and uh, will suddenly found that, well, I enjoy presenting in front of people. I enjoy, sh enjoy sharing my ideas in front of people, with people and for people. So, Will, I have my own journey, but let us start with some of the main ideas regarding today's topic, why introverts can be good leaders. Well, as you have known that I uh, teach at Daffodil International University, I am a senior lecturer in the Department of English, and I am a certified advanced TESOL practitioner and also an e-teacher alumna of the U.S. Department of State, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Now, the very first point, what is an introvert? Well, there are a lot of thousands of definitions by, by thousands of people. But the very first thing which I would like to mention is of Carl Jung's ideas. In 1920, he defined that it is a common thing as someone who gets his or her energy from alone time rather than socializing. So it's about being alone, actually, in most of the cases, rather than socializing every time. And the second point which I'd like to mention is that unlike the extrovert counterparts who get energy from other people, introverts are typically introspective. They are quiet, but not necessarily shy, as we have also seen from Mr. Soji's I mean, presentation. He clearly mentioned the differences between an extrovert and an introvert person. So I'm not getting into that details, but Will, what are the traits of a good leader in this perspective? What are the traits? There are so many things, but I would like to mention these specific seven points, seven traits of a good leader. And what are they? The first one, who inspires and motivates others. This is one of the greatest traits of a good leader. The second point, displays high integrity and honesty. The third point, displays professional or technical expertise. And at number four, he drives for results. Well, obviously introverts drives for results if, if we can have that kind of connection, but it's a trait of a good leader. And a good leader communicates powerfully. So powerful communication is one of the greatest traits of a good leader. And the next one, he builds relationships. A good leader builds relationships. And finally, a good leader develops others or he tries to develop others. Now, let us look at this question. How introverts can be a good leader, can have those traits? Well, there are so many reasons which we can mention to which we can identify that this is why an introvert may create a leader. But well, if we have to specify some, let us focus on these seven reasons. The first one, they listen when others speak. Such a powerful thing. Uh, an introvert usually listen when people in front of him or her speaks. So such an important thing, the ability to pay attention is one attribute of a good leader. And well, yes, of course, this ability to pay attention to someone who's speaking in front of you is a very important attribute of a good leader. And number two, people listen to them when they speak. So yes, of course, an introvert, when he or she starts speaking, people actually listen tries to listen, tries to concentrate. And number three, they work well in solitude. And number four, they are humble. So one of the most important points, introverts usually are humble. Many research has revealed the idea that introverts usually are humble, more humble than the extroverts. And the next point, introverts develop meaningful connections. 
So they look for meaningful connections, not every connections, and they make decisions with certainty. And finally, they are great problem solver. We have also seen this point. Uh, we have also, uh, I mean, uh, had, uh, I mean, an engaging discussion through Mr. Suji's presentation on this specific point that yes, they are great problem solvers. Now, if we have to focus on this question, why they are more successful, why? Well, let us focus on this point, which I have tried to note it down. And also which I have tried to identify through my own experience, personal experience. Not only do introverts make great listeners, they are mindful of their environment and the things happening around them. So they're always very good observers because they're observing, they're able to notice both the mistakes and successes of others and pick up on what to do and what to avoid in order to be successful. So look, here is the point who says that an introvert cannot be a successful person. Obviously, this is a wrong idea. Rather, introverts can be great leaders because they are very good observants. They are able to notice not only the positive things, but also the mistakes, the problems, the issues around them. And they try to pick up what to pick up and what not to. And this is how they can be successful. Now, the next point is, are introverts more intelligent? Well, this actually is a question of, uh, you know, this, this has uh, a real question, debate, and a lot of, uh, I mean, intensive discussion. Uh, well, people have been discussing this issue, uh, well, uh, since uh, how longer, we don't even know. But yes, there are a lot of confusion regarding this specific point. Are they more intelligent? Well, uh, there's a lot of evidence out there which shows that they are more intelligent on average. Yes, some research reveals the idea that they are more in in intelligent than the extrovert people on average. Uh, for example, a study which has been done by the Gifted Development Center showed that around 60% of gifted children for words. Studies also than extroverts. So verbally, uh, at least they are more intelligent than the extroverts. Now, let us look at some of the techniques to harness the power of this introversion. Well, the first point which I'd like to mention over here is the balancing the time. Balancing time is important for everyone our meeting. Make sure to plan at least 30 minutes to yourself. And the second point is get out of your own head. What is that? It's writing down all the ideas and sharing them with someone whom I can trust. And the next point is about the unapologetically genuine. So, well, an introvert shouldn't try to be an extrovert or shouldn't force himself or herself, you know, to be more outgoing or something like that. And the next point is about optimizing for deeper relationships. Well, this point focuses on, you know, feel comfortable with the relationships and asking things of them. And ultimately, these relationships end up being more rewarding, both personally and professionally. And the next point, uh, which I'd like to mention is to be very, very clear about the thought process. So introverts usually store thoughts for a long period of time before speaking. So before saying something, an introvert usually thinks a lot thinks a lot. So that is his or her power. And the last point, last technique, which I would like to mention is actionizing observations. So as an outsider looking you in, you offer a unique viewpoint, turn all your listening and observing into actionable suggestions. So, well, when we have to give a unique viewpoint before getting into that, well, obviously an introvert tries to listen and observe as much as he or she can. And after that, he actually gets into an action. So these are the points. Now, I have mentioned three leadership tips for introverts. I have seen a lot of tips actually from Mr. Susie's uh, presentation slides, but here I would like to mention specifically only three. The first one, play to your strengths. You shouldn't mask or change who you are at any phase of your career. So I should play with my own strengths and be transparent, you know? Uh, I should be transparent as an introvert. 
I, I want my team to voice their concerns to me. And I should be open about how I prefer to work. And finally, putting yourself over there, out there. Even you may think, uh, I mean, uh, other than your specific domain or territory, of course. Now, the next slide is about- Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you. Mr. Susil Kumar, uh, can you switch off your mic? Mr. Susil okay. Kumar, I'm telling you continuously, you are not keeping your mic off. Uh, Srinivasa, remove him from the meeting. Susil Kumar, you can't understand what I'm telling to you. Now the microphone is off. Yeah, please, ma'am, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Sorry okay. for interruption. No, no, thank you so much. Yes, we need Hello? this actually. Yes. Ah, yes, sir. Over, over. Uh, that Susil Kumar was disturbing the meeting. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you so much. Now, let us focus on the myriad leadership characteristics of introverts. The first point, which I would like to mention over here, that, that yes, they are motivated by productivity, not ambition. Well, in most of the cases, we found that introverts are not always ambitious. Rather, they're more productive. They're more productive. And the second point is that they build more meaningful connections. So meaningful connection is something which they admire, which they admire. They, they look for quality, productivity, and uh, they, they are very good observants, actually. And uh, the third point is they don't easily get distracted. So usually you introverts uh, don't easily get distracted. I mean, regarding the people or the environment around them they are better able to tune out the noise and concentrate. So that is also one point. And uh, the fourth point is they solve problems with thoroughness rather than in haste. So they don't actually, you know, make decision in haste, rather they have the problem solving uh, ability. As a good leader, uh, will they try to solve the problem through various perspectives. They listen, they observe, they read, they research, they synthesize, they try to identify the issues with several other things, and that is how they finally take an action. So yes, of course, the idea is very true that introverts, all these leads introverts to make decision after giving it great thought and reflection on creative ways to solve problems. And with the last sentence with which I'm going to end today is that Research has also found introverts are less likely to make snap decisions. So, uh, well, we have heard a lot of things about these introvert issues. Well, finally, I'd like to end with the idea that yes, introverts can be exclusive leaders and we have thousands of examples in front of us. That was all from my part. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for hearing to me. Thank you. Oh, to Sutraja, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes. You, you give so a feedback much. on it, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, of Rosazi. It was wonderful. And love the traits which you told. It was really awesome, unique, and again, I will say, informative. So thank you so much for uh, sharing all the lights which we were unaware till now. All right. So Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let me move to my journey forward. And I am taking a great privilege now in inviting my wonderful speaker from Thailand. And she is Dr. KP Waste. If I talk about Dr. KP Waste, she is Associate Professor, Department of Manufacturing and Service Industry, Faculty of Business and Industrial Development from King Mokfords University of Technology, North Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome, ma'am. The stage is all yours to throw light on introvert. Okay, namaste. Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, uh, very uh, guest opportunity to be here as a guest speaker. And you know, uh, India as my second home. I have a lot of friends from India and from other country also. Okay, very welcome here tonight. Okay. I would like to share my topic a little bit about the introvert, introvert leadership, right? Can I share my slide? Okay. Okay. Uh, for all of the introvert leadership 
can make a guest manager. Why I said like that? Because you know what? Introvert people is not wrong, but why introvert people very success nowadays? Because they have four C, they have good communication and collaboration and work at a team. Why I said like that? Because of this, I would like to show you into what leadership is useful to most team and business. Unfortunately, reputation is that only extroverts can increase at a leadership, but not into what. Why? Why? Why the research says like that? Because, uh, you know, nowadays. We need to present everything as the performance, as the wonder show, or something like that. If you talk, uh, for example, in Thailand, you know, a lot of people in my university they are into what, but they not to be a big position as a dean, as a big senior position because uh, they not talk a lot, and they. But you know, the good thing they keep. Chris, uh, secrets really good, but they don't talk. They don't show their performance. That's why they still be like the researcher, not promote to uh management uh position something like that. This one in Thailand very important and for the extrovert persons in Thailand they have. Uh, more opportunity and more support and more promote from the senior because in Thailand we have the culture something like to su support together something like that when they support with the kindness and some with the good attitude or with the good words to support this one act towards good to do that but for introvert they're not. That's why uh, I would like to say today is about the why. Why I say like that? Introvert is their quiet manner and the good listener listening skill cause people to feel more comfortable and confident and touch uh, and touching. Because introvert people or leadership they don't talk much, right? So that that's why they can keep the secrets. Same, same as myself when I have the problem with something in my life. So I just go to introvert friends because I know my secret is with him, not uh, compared with the uh, extrovert people, something like that. Okay, and I would like to uh, say something about leadership style. What is important for 21st century for leadership style or skill? Leadership for introvert or extrovert, they must be have the communication together. Extrovert good for communication, introvert not, but good for the teamwork, work at a team, compete or find the solution and find the outcome, output for something like that. And the next one, collaboration and critical thinking and creativity. Why this one is innovation for leadership parallel with uh, for organization chain, you know, because it's critical thinking is like a uh, thing out of box. You need to think out of box. Think something ordinary that someone never think that before and creating to sell your the idea and your product. Yes something like that and okay this one is my topic it's about design thinking but I, I uh, will uh, tell you a little bit is uh, something of the five steps of design thinking for critical thinking and think out of box for the uh, extrovert leadership need to do this is empathize why I say empathize because the first step is very hard if Foundation, if your foundation is good, so your next step is also gonna be good, also. So that's why empathize very hard part or very hard step because uh, you need to feel 
with your team, with your employee, or with your co-worker, how they feel. Not just like you think they feel. You can't judge anyone in the world. Leadership, they don't judge. They just uh, think about what is the reason why they do that. But extrovert, extrovert is not. Extrovert just like feeling first, their feeling first or something like that. So if you want something like the, that's why introvert is gonna, gonna be like engineer or something like very critical thinking and complex thinking. But for extrovert person, extrovert person leadership gonna be like the entertainer, or something like very chill person style or something like that on entertainment. Yes, that's why. So this one, uh, I would like to show you about the sympathy and empathy. This one is uh, most two parts, very important for about the introvert leadership or extrovert leadership. Need to parallel together for empathy and sympathy with your teamwork, with your friend, with your team worker, with your uh, leadership top manager or lower manager or middle ma manager. Need to realize that sympathy and empathy very important because you need to uh, work with the group environment. So you need to understand your teamwork. That's why you need to empathy and sympathy everyone as you in your team as one or in one, you know, something like that. Okay, and this one is I would like to show you about component of motivation. Motivation with your teamwork or with your uh, leadership, you need to concern about what? About the people, about the system, about the uh, communication about working environments, about uh, management style, about compensation package. No money, no honey, right? <laughs> okay, compensation, the first uh, package is you need to realize, yeah. And measurement and feedback and recognize, uh, recognize, recognition and rewards. This one is very important. Everybody wanna be like the someone, not somebody, right? You want if you work in uh, organization for like uh, ten years, but nobody know you. Who are you in this organization? So you are gonna feel like, oh, where am I? Why I'm doing here? Something like that. So recognition is very uh, important for like uh every workplace i think and every leadership also right for management style or leadership style yeah and this one moving to the next slide for the fun and motivation in a work environment that encourage fun and employee have to lots of energy faster self-esteem and Equity for their work, team spirit, and sustainable motivation, uh, positive attitude. For all of this is component of fun and motivate yourself and your teamwork to be successful. But for my, uh, in, in my opinion, the um, important thing I think is like positive attitude. If you think positive in everything, in every moment, I believe at the end it's gonna be good because your men, men, mentor is gonna be like the good and have a lot of energy to do like everything to be the success in the future. So for me, it's like positive uh, attitude is very important. And this one, how, how leadership uh, introvert and extrovert uh, inspire motivation teamwork to be caring, make a difference, lead them from the heart. Team building, what love, what to do with that? You must have fire in your belly, motivation, leadership, and affair of the heart, the human side of the teamwork. And this one is component of how employees show they are committed to each other. 
Yeah, this one is for motivation, your teamwork, and leadership component blend together at the team, something like that. And okay, for the leadership and employee development to challenge, need to focus training on needs. What is your goal and your output and solution and be broad based and flexible and learning is intentional and don't rely on the first letter to make learning effective and get it to them just in time customize training and hide the most uh, appropriate planner and have uh, your employee development action plan this one uh, into what need to do the uh, roadmap for their employee right include experience learning also okay for me today i think is um i would like to in conclusion for this one and you know what introvert leadership and extrovert leadership need to have the tendency of quality what is including a uh, component of the tendency of quality, including the first one, capacity, uh, capability, confidence, challenge, criteria, credibility, consequence, communications, cost of opportunity and compensation, and consistency. And for me, for nowadays, I think compensation very important because now all the global, all the world, Facing to the capital, right? So, and facing for the COVID 19 pandemic. So, money is the first talk nowadays, and we need to sharing with the other and communication with the other because, you know, a lot of people uh, have no work right now, no food. Yeah, in Thailand, also, very bad situation for COVID 19 pandemic. Okay. That's one. That's uh. That's all about my topic today. I'm sorry if you know I'm not good for today. I'm not well. Sorry, I'm not well for today. Just a little bit. Uh, lonely notes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. And if you uh have some any questions or you want to uh, more information about. Uh, my topic or my detail, you can uh, inbox me uh, and inbox this organization every time, 24 uh, hours, seven days. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, kudos to Miss Waze for a wonderful presentation. And the three slides caught your imagination. Ten C's, fun and uh, motivation, and uh, traits of introvert leaders. There is a concept from that. Extroverts are great public speakers and networkers. These are two key roles for them to make a big, big, big great leaders. But they have a different ideas. Your slides very clearly shows that even introverts can make a big impact, albeit only 20 to 40% of the population is introverts. Next. Yeah, thank you very much. And kudos to Ms. Weiss for a wonderful, wonderful presentation. And I hope you've got your imagination too. Thank you. Next, we are move on to yeah, move on to next speaker on board, Mr. Manoj Sigal. He doesn't require any introduction, of course. The assistant campaigner and veteran of many webinars, and is B mechanical gold medalist and MBA finance all in the rank first. 25 years of wealthy teaching experience. He has a distinction of trained more than one lakh students for in this exam in India and abroad. He is a visiting faculty of mathematics and management at S.P. Jain College of Global Management, and also a visiting faculty of management, uh, visiting uh, faculty of Max at Vidya Lankar classes for IIT, JEE, and GATS. And above all, even school level also, you did in a fabulous schools. Class 10 and 10 in Goenga International School, besides 11 and 12 in Boda schools. And who else can be the better bet 
then mr manoj sigal should take the topic and talk on the topic over to mr manoj sigal it's your time now yes it's your time now yeah thank you sir over to mr manoj sigal thank you so much uh, it's been uh, a privilege to be with so much talwards and uh, uh, getting introduced by the legend dr balchandra itself i'm so honored and humbled no, 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 no. sir no i am and, equally honored yeah <laughs> and my great uh, young friend uh, supriya as usual is one of the terrific host we so lucky to be a part where she is hosting it so thank you supriya for being uh, with us today you are as usual too brilliant uh, thank you why idbm for calling me on the stage and uh, frankly speaking who better uh, app for this topic than our good friend ravi i mean he is the app person for the topic introverts make best leaders in fact if you notice he has got all of us on the platform he has taken a backstage in fact i can't even see you on the screen so uh, request ravi bhai please can you come on the screen we want to see you it's a huge round of applause for the guy who's actually making it possible for all of us Ravi bhai if you can hear me please i want you to on your camera and uh, round of applause to him you are too good yes, sir i will i will definitely on the camera because uh, uh, next month i will be on my camera i am going to invite general bakshi sir i had a talk with him in the evening so that time i will definitely on the camera but that will be the first time i will be on i will on my camera okay He's so going to come next month general bakshi sorry for this <laughs> no no sir absolutely sir it's it's uh, you actually deserve this aspect you should have been the opening speaker but uh, a wonderful presentation from uh, why i don't on the camera i just want to tell uh, clear to every one of you as this facebook live also uh, because uh, whenever i speak our logo will flash so okay. i want my logo to flash rather than i flash <laughs> on the screen so many people will yeah. come to know about idvm foundation if it will flash so that's the reason i always keep my camera off <laughs> that is a set up great leader yeah it is a true quality of a leader is a true quality where the organization is at the front stage and you take back stage so terrific sir uh, wonderful wonderful presentation frankly speaking i'm speechless with such a lovely presentation coming from us bangladesh thailand uh, my colleagues you are too good i actually will have to search for words what i can speak but uh, i i am not making a ppt or not presenting i will talk from my personal experiences uh, when i started as a young student graduating from uh, an mba college tier 1 uh, this and working with both uh, leaders uh, extroverts and introverts but the biggest advantage working with the introvert leaders were they were very good listeners uh it's not that the my idea was accepted immediately but yes they listen to me with an extrovert leader the biggest disadvantage is you are shoot immediately you know this can't work because it's not my way it's my way or the highway which you take it so it may it will not work so extrovert leaders the biggest problem is the charisma is too big enough and sometimes you are too small enough for to to tell them any ideas even in the flaws if you want to say you can't say because they don't think like that they think that they can do everything it's i me and myself is take the uh, stage while well, introvert leader will give you an opportunity he will give you a chance he will listen to you so that's the biggest quality your very very comfort zone with an introvert leader i'm again saying it's not the ideas are good or bad but sometimes they listen to you best part is they do not micromanage they do not check everything in detail okay okay if this is a job have you done each and everything they don't take the marks they, if they given you responsibility they feel that you're good enough and competent to do it yes if there is an issue you can go they are very approachable they listen to you they'll understand your problem before they'll try to give you a solution and they may not give you an immediate solution they will look back ponder on it before they'll throw a solution so that's the best part of being or working with an introvert leader and because they don't want to hog the limelight they're okay if you're if you are on the front page in fact most of the time in the powerpoint presentation in my initial days i was taking the lead and my gm would be backside and he would have not even seen my presentation and i would always love him for the fact that so much confidence level are there so i have learned a lot from them and i wish i mean when i became a faculty and i was leading couple of places i did this try to do the same thing to my students i let them take the four like because that's how it will go ahead that's how the next generation has to go ahead so learned a lot from them they are very calm 
uh, they don't get stressed out immediately because they think a lot. So uh, you see right now in the world, the best leaders in the terms of pandemic are somebody who are very calm, focused, and they know what's doing it. The best example right now is happening in New Zealand. I mean, look at the prime minister. She's leading from the front. No big talks, no big thing. She's walking the talk. A couple of year back, there was a terrorist attack. See what she did how she handled the entire pandemic and it's brilliant i mean we we have to learn leadership qualities from such people unfortunately right now when the crises are there we are just blame gaming each other it's not the way a leader should have been taken he should have taken the owners up to this we would have not seen that but i don't want to talk that on this platform but i'm just saying what a wonderful example look at two brilliant examples in our own country mr ratan tata and Mr. Aziz Premji, you will hardly see them on the front runners and the biggest philanthropist of the country. I mean, see what happened when the Taj was attacked. See how brilliantly had Ratan Takra taken it over for each and every employee. Until date, they're getting salaries of people who aren't alive with us right now, till date. And it will still continue. So that's a brilliant example which he has set in front of us. And that's why we respect that group the maximum. I mean, it said, at one stage, and it's so unbelievable that when India was not doing well and we had gone to the World Bank for the loan, and this is a huge story, when we had gone to the World Bank for the loan, the World Bank person had told us, I would only sign this document provided GRD Tata takes an undertaking on it. In case an issue, they will be they are paying us. So this was a huge moment from the Tata group. And look at Aziz Premji, a philanthropist who doesn't even say anything. I mean, just look at the things which they do in Wipros. It's amazing. It's really amazing. These are two good leaders we are having it. And they, if you never see them on the front faces talking and this, they are the backside letting everything do. And no wonder Tata is the most respected group in the entire world. Uh, I follow sports and for people who love sports, I mean, sports and politics is one thing where you see the quality of a leader coming in crisis. The biggest example happened a couple of months back when India was playing in Australia, in Australia. The current captain had to leave back. So we had a soft guy leading us from the second test match to the fourth test match. In the second test match, he scored a century. But look at the way the young team, it was called as an India A team because the original team were all injured or they couldn't play. So it's an India A team which went and defeated Australia and Australia. And that was a huge sign of a guy who is very soft token. We are talking of Ajinkya Rane, where we, the entire world is talking about the Virat brilliance and the Rohit Sharma's technique. But this guy takes a, a soft path, but he gets an entire team down. It's a kudos to his leadership. So I think there's a lot of understatement that extroverts are the better ones. Yeah, they might be very good in communication skills and talking and speaking. But when it comes to crisis, no better person than an introvert leader leading in front. I, I think that's the way it works out. Uh, thank you so much uh, for inviting me once again. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Dr. Palchandra, introducing. It's always been uh, a privilege listening to you. So getting an introduction from you is like mind blowing. You made my day. And Supriya, thank you so much once again. Thanks. So thank much. you, Dr. Manoj. You were awesome. And the examples which you gave of Mr. Ratan Tata and cricket match was really, I must say, USP of your speech. So thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. So moving ahead in my journey, and I am highly privileged to call upon Ms. Sadaf Khan for her brilliant views on this uh, introverts. And before I move, let me tell about Sadaf. She's a parenting coach and a public speaker, a trainer, a mentor, a coach. And she is awarded as a path breaker of the year 2020 of MISA member of International School Association. And she has received award of the ICA British Council teachers. So Sadaf, all the stage is all yours to throw light on insightful. Thank 
Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. I first of all very privileged to in amid so great personalities and speaker and I am I've been listening to everyone over here and I am very uh, I can resonate with everyone's when I I really appreciate each and everyone's but as Manosa I don't have a PPT over here but then definitely I will voice my thoughts now slightly my thoughts a little bit on me being an extrovert and if I see an introvert makes a good personality that won't be a justice. Okay, so I slightly have a different uh, perspective on this topic. Hope you accept it. Okay, so basically everyone over here has spoken about the traits of an introvert or an extrovert. They are, you can easily make out an introvert and an extrovert in the public group, correct? So an extrovert who's a person who voice thoughts is more amicable, approachable, takes leadership, likes public, likes attention, introvert, prefers to be salugated, thinker, reflective, takes time. And as Manosa rightly mentioned, probably in crisis, he can deal more in a more better way. Correct? Now, these two personalities has their own traits, has their own personal, has their own specific traits. Correct? Now, I would like you to reflect on your own life. At some point in your life, you have been preferably identified as an introvert or an extrovert by yourself or by someone else. So it was, it's a funny thing that you might have come across. If you were speaking too much, you were labeled that you, know, you are being, you are, you're speaking too much. And the point where you're not speaking too much, you were labeled as you're being too quiet. Isn't it? This situation we everyone might have come across in life some or the other point. point. Or uh, probably you identify more as a reflective in, uh, in a introverts who prefer to work in a solitude. Or maybe you identify more strongly with the gregarious extroverts who are energized, inspired by social interactions and team brainstorming sessions. Now, preferably, extroverted leaders typically excel at social connections, advocating strongly their ideas, visions, Whereas introverted leaders excel at skills such as thoughtful analysis, listening, and reflective. Now, all of these skills are without doubt universally acclaimed important to one's ability to lead. No matter what a personality type you identify most strongly. Correct? Now, since if I am an extrovert, but if I'm not able to think deeply, lead people, then probably I have to work on my skills. If I am an introvert, but if I'm not able to voice my thoughts, I'm not able to give that, I'm, I'm not approachable to the people, then probably I have to work on my skills. Then who is a better one leader? The question arises that. So what I, what I term that person something, the real winners are the ambiverts. Now who are those ambiverts? Now, ambiverts are someone who is a mixture of an introvert and extrovert. All goodness of introverts and goodness of introverts combined together is an ambivert who is very adaptable in situations, who is very flexible. You cannot, I believe, box people into introvert or extroverts. I believe that's my personal opinion. There's no such thing as pure as extrovert or pure introvert. Such a man would be a lunatic. Now, as a leaders, it's very critical for us to be able to adapt our behaviors and action to the vastly varying publics and situation we encounter. Now, the best executives ambiverts operating in the space between the polar extremes of the introversions and extroversions. Having said that, let's little bit see what is a successful leader. Now, to be a successful leaders, leaders need to be able to adapt between both the extroverted and the extro uh, introverted task. Leaders who describe themselves as neither strong introverts or extroverts have uh, are able to have hard time being flexible and adapting to different style when such adaptability is called for and would make them more successful in achieving their goals. If you consider yourself on one side of the spectrum, chances are you need to someone on your team who complements you and brings opposing strengths of the other personality type of you in your team. 
Now, whether you personally identify as a gregarious extrovert or as a reflective introvert or an ambivert, you need to have certain points intact in your mind. Please be who you are. Accept yourself. Don't try to take someone else's traits in your. Accept that you are an extro extrovert and you have these qualities and you need to work on these skills. Except you are an introvert, you have this quality. These are your plus. These are your minus. Works on your minus. Correct? Because if I'm a leader, sometimes I have to face the audience. I have to voice my thoughts as well. If I'm an extrovert, I need to be with the people. At times, I have to reflect on my decisions as well. As at times, I have to think about various policies as well. So thereby, I see a combination working together to make a successful leaders. Correct? Then. adaptability and flexibility is something which is really a leader must have a leader can't have a rigid ideas he needs to be flexible in his mind he needs to take decisions and sometimes quick decisions are needed and if being an introvert he keeps thinking probably he might lose a situation what is the best situation than today covid pandemic decisions are needed to be quick and if i if i think that introvert is going to take decision probably we might lag whereas if i say extroverts if they take quick decision it has its own disadvantage so somewhere a mid is needed i believe and that's what an ambivert does all about now ambiverts basically are is a one who has both introverts and extroverts and they can manage a person who strongly identifies with either of the style comfortable so it depends on the situation circumstances then one come across us and as i said leadership is a skill you can acquire it okay you can you can incorporate the goods of both the thing and lead the people uh, now both introverts extroverts or ambivert whatever it is so the first thing was that please stick to your type secondly adapt flexible and third learn keep learning be open to the learning part whether you are a leader learner or whichever strata of, of office or of position you are keep learning be open to things learn adapt keep sourcing out for knowledge on things and thereby you can be a leader if you ask me still if you say me who makes a le better leader an extrovert or or an introvert or ambivert i believe that neither make a better leader then the other but each excel in various way in different circumstances extrovert leaders need to be supported by introverts leader and vice versa this means that organizations are better if they ensure the balance between both you need a charismatic personality of an extrovert you need a thinker like an introvert in your boardrooms i hope you definitely agree with me on this thoughts isn't it Finally I would like to end my thoughts with a small quote extroverts sparkle introverts glow extroverts are fireworks introverts are fire in the heart so thereby be flexible be an ambivert take the best from whatever you have in there and lead the world that's all i need thank you so much for giving me this opportunity ravi sir bala sir supriya ma'am manoj sir kp i am elated to be part of this and i hope Uh, I am able to give my thoughts on it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, ma Madam Sada, what an inspiring depiction, and you are simply rocking. Thank Now you. Now that I can put it, yeah, I can call you a Pakistani dynamo, a Pakistani dynamite. Yeah, however you take it. Thank and you. And I can refer you with one more cricketer, since I love cricket, Mitali Raj. He is also of, of same stature like you. but wonderful wonderful cricketer i never expected such a uh, in, insight in you probably you have gone through a lot of homework and uh, prepared a lot and uh, confidence personified and before i'm going to my closing remarks uh, let supriya ma'am scintillating supriya uh, supriya sorry supriya to give a closing remark then we'll come back to that yes ma'am thank ma you oh, to supriya uh, ma'am yes sir yeah. uh, please uh, please ask audience if they want to say something yeah yeah <laughs> yes Yes, audience. Yeah, you can throw the questions, and you could see it's a blend of youth and experienced presenters on the board, starting from Manoj Sigal and ending with Sadaf Rishvi, and in between there are Miss Bays and and one more Frusa from Bangladesh and Dr. Suji Gopal sir. So, audience, this is the best chance for you. You can throw questions on them. You can spare the questions, in fact, on them. They are ready to answer you. 
Yeah, thank you. Anyone on the participant side? Please come up. Fire on yes. your gun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is yes. Shelly Best, and uh, I yeah. want to comment over here. Uh, yeah. Awesome session. Stupendous host, Supriya, and definitely, you know, very amazing speakers over here. But my biggest takeaway of this session is which I have rather grasped from Dr. Sadaf Rizvi, is that use your unique qualities to grow as a leader. Okay. Whether an introvert or an extrovert, like who uh, can be an excellent leader, but I think so. There is no single right way to lead a team. And your introversion or extroversion doesn't make or break your leadership potential. Now here, what does matter is how you respond to your personality type. Playing to your strengths and responding to your weaknesses will help you become a leader your team can look up to. So I am really impressed with the Dr. Sid, Sid, I mean, Rizvi. That doesn't mean that, uh, you know, other speakers were not very good, but I have closely, you know, monitored and caught her, you know, points very well because since she has said she's an extrovert. So, you know, accept yourself as an extrovert. If you are an introvert, accept yourself as an introvert. Please don't try to, you know, copy or imitate somebody else. Accept your own self. And as Supriya also commented, be your own boss. Okay, so you know it, it doesn't depend that uh, who can be a better leader, an introvert or an extrovert. But my key takeaway from this session is that use your unique qualities to grow as a leader. So that is what uh, I would like to comment. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, we Any have a other audience? Yeah, we have a special guest from Morocco, sir. Can you unmute yourself? He's a very good speaker, uh, I think. Sir, can you hear us? Mabrik, sir? Okay. Red and Raro, ma'am, can you hear me? He's, he's from Indonesia. A lot of people are there from other countries. Anybody else, if you want to say something? <clears throat> okay, Subriya, ma'am, you can. Subriya, yeah. So thank you so much. It was a mind-blowing and fantastic session. The three takeaways for me, if you ask, I have lovely speakers. So that is the take takeaways for me. And uh, Sadaf, which she said, Dr. Manoj Segal, Dr. Suzy, Dr. Uh, uh, Shelly Bist, which uh, she stated, her, it was mind blowing. And the best thing of this virtual platform is, which is created by Dr. Uh, Ravi Shankarji, in this pandemic situation, we are still binding with each other like a garland. We are like pearls from different parts of the country, but still we are learning, still we are enjoying this boring Sunday into a lovely, engaging, insightful Sunday. So thank you so much once again, everyone. And Dr. Balachandra, thanks, a great support from your side. And be stay safe, stay healthy, and stay blessed. And next we will uh, meet you for again a session. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, now, yeah. Yeah. Yes, man. I'm speechless. Same here. Starting from Sadaf, of course, he's being an ink dynamic. Yes. And Manu Sigal, wonderful. And Dr. Suji Gopal sir. And very, I think they're all introverts, except Sadaf, probably. As he yes, sir. And what I'm telling here, I, uh, yeah. And uh, even we have a good news. Yes, yeah, great introvert leader here. Uh, one good news is yeah. there, sir, for all of you yeah. that. Uh, Today I had a talk with General Bakshi, you know, you might have, you, every one of you know him. He is a very yeah, famous Bakshi. person and today yeah, I Bakshi. was having a call with him and he extended a full support okay. to our foundation and he said that uh, I will be there for whenever you need me for any session. So we are going to start a talk show and the first speaker will be General Bakshi, sir. And it will be after General Bakshi, sir, we are going to call Gaurav Arya. Then Smriti Rani, like that, it will go on. Okay. So that will be launched in the month of May. So that is going to be the next uh, thing we, we are, want to apart, start. Yeah. That will be a talk soon. Yeah, apart from Bakshi Shah. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, sir. That tell will me. be the... So it, it will start from Bakshi, sir. Today I had a talk with him for okay. 5 to 10 minutes. So he told we will do this. And definitely he's a very great person. I can't... Yeah, we are waiting for we are waiting for Ravishan Gupta on the screen. He's meditating yeah, on the screen. The day he when will come, sir, definitely I'll be on the yeah. screen. 
Ravi sir, yeah. when will you be able to? And, see? I don't know who is. Sir, I just know you by your name. When will we all be able to see you? No, ma'am. Yeah. My name won't be there on the screen because yeah. my name will be igniting dreams of M1 Foundation. <laughs> if you if you want to, yeah, that's that's name actually. And uh, my my special salute to Dr. Yeah, Siji. yeah, he's great and, man. And uh, I was real. I I was real. I was really impressed. Yes, yeah, a tremendous. Yes, sir, and we language. have to thank uh, wonderful, Srinivas wonderful, sir yeah, continuously. He is taking a lot yeah. of effort yeah. for the foundation. And Supriya, uh, yeah, yeah, and Supriya, ma'am, I think both from the blue, both thank from the blue. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, Sadaf Rishvi, yeah, Sadaf Rishvi, and uh, I don't know. I think all guns blazing, yeah. And thank Manu Segal, a wonderful, wonderful uh, guest from him, and he's always appreciate. He is very sportive. And I was really, really happy the way he referred Ajinga Rakhane, the soft-spoken cricketer, and who made a mark in the Australian soil. And that also we had a great win at Gaba, and based from Thailand. I think she had a wonderful slides actually, wonderful collection no of slides. No struggle, sir. And I think I could. Uh, when, when yeah. I... And I I could read I could read this webinar, this particular webinar, and interview next great leaders. Should be the astounding, astounding webinar forever. And every single sir, keep in mind and uh, keep it on record, saying that this is going to be the moment to cherish for every one of us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving me an opportunity, and every single sir, and you always are behind the screen. And of course, we are going to see you on screen one day, definitely, <laughs> when Mr. Bakshi sir came. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, all my best wishes to Suji sir, and uh, yeah, Suji Gopal sir, and. Uh, Supriya Kumar Velan. Supriya ji is always also. Some other connectivity. When, whenever Supriya ji hosts some program, yeah, yeah. I definitely attend that mm. program to just see. Yeah. Her. He told. Thank you so much. So much. She was, <laughs> yeah. She was telling me she was down with fever, but I, I could see a rejuvenated energy in her. And, and she's from Tamil Nadu, sir. Feel, she's from Tamil Nadu. Yeah, I know. I know. No, no. That is. That is. Yeah. But what I feel after seeing her, I I feel that age is just a number. It is just a number. I I I feel that a lot of energy in me and zeal in me, and of course there is plenty more to come. Yes. And thank you to all the wonderful speakers and all are uniquely talented. That's the most important thing I should say. That yes, yeah, sir. I sir. want to keep thank Manoj sir in every session, but actually if I yeah, give yeah. him more session, then he will tell one day I will not come for the yeah. next session. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It, it, it would happen, yes, sir. It would happen. Yeah, Pakka. Yeah. <laughs> ग्रेट एनर्जी And even I am really impressed. Suji sir, very calm and quiet. He is the best example for introvert leader. Suji sir, sir, sometimes I am yeah. calling him at six uh, a.m. in uh, morning in USA, yeah. and he is taking the session at that time. <laughs> no, yeah, that thing. He seems to be a great listener. Very calm and quiet, composed and cool as cucumber. Yeah, he is cool as cucumber. I noticed that. That I will take away from him. From Sada, I will take that all the energy. I don't know. And she said, "I told you, no. She is a packet-sized dynamite." And Supriya, ma'am, full of information, full of wisdom, and I could see a lot of books at her back. I don't know how many, how long she had. And this is take to read all those books at the back. I yeah. think that is the Fantastic. background, sir. That is not this. She <laughs> having that. That is the virtual background. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. But Then she will become also, like Mano, sir. <laughs> But I love reading books, sir. But I love reading yeah, yeah. books. Yeah. Oh, really virtual. See, I yeah. cannot differentiate. I cannot differentiate the virtual or this one. But anyhow, thank you all the wonderful participants. And thank looking forward so to much. one more session. And uh, Ravi Shankar sir, Ravi Shankar sir, this is a simple recommendation suggestion. Always keep keep us in mind and bring us once again into one more webinar of the beautiful topics. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank sir. You for every, giving us every week it will come, sir. Every week. Pleasure yeah, sharing space with you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye everyone. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank, you. Bye -bye. thank you everyone. Thank Manoj you very sir, much. Thank you. Thank you. Manoj thank you sir. So thank you. Uh, thank sir, you. Sir, one so more thing I want to you. share with all of you. Uh, today yeah. I just want to salute uh, ma'am. She is from Thailand. I called oh. to ma'am at five uh, o'clock, I think, 
I told oh. her, ma'am, today you have a session in uh, for seat talk. And Supriya ma'am told to me, yeah, ma'am is telling that, uh, so what we should do? So I called to her. And I am just shocked, sir, when she has started presenting the PPT. Uh, that time she is telling that, uh, oh, I have to go for the seminar. I'm like, yes, ma'am, you have to come for the seminar. And uh, she told how much time I have to talk? I told five to 10 minutes. She told, okay, I will just talk. When I saw the PPT, I was totally shocked. <laughs> Beautiful. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. I, no, I did not know it. Yeah. So sorry about that. Uh, this one, like a supersonic plane. Yeah, yeah. Someone told that that was a stupendous presentation. Stupendous yeah, presentation. Definitely. Yeah, and wonderful. I am yeah, really lucky. I'm fortunate. Ma yeah. Yes, sir. You want to say something, Mabrik, uh, from uh, Morocco? Sir, I on yeah, the video and. Yeah, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, great. So I would like, first of all, to thank you very, very much for these very precious uh, and interesting presentations. So I, I would, um, in teaching uh, the, the two principles of um, introversion and controversion and uh, 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 extraversion are, are really very principal for any teacher to know because they uh, just help any teacher to understand uh, the behavior and the attitudes of, 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 of learners or the learners. Uh, uh, personally, I am a, an introvert person and, uh, and I really enjoy it. So, but I, I have to know it as, as a teacher because a lot of uh, students are really helped and understood and given a lot of opportunities when the teacher is aware of, of this threat of, of character. The, it's, we, I cannot say it is positive or negative. I just say that the, the, this is the way a person is. And the people who are interacting with them should really be aware uh, of the, per, the kind of person they are. So uh, to be, for example, a good listener, a listener is, is, not, is not an easy thing for an extrovert to do. A lot of people who maybe face a lot of difficulties when others tell them, hey, please just listen, just listen a little bit, okay? So for an introvert, it's already given. It's a gift for, the, for, for them. So uh, I would really, uh, I like the, the, the conclusions in which you said, just try to be the way you are. And I really appreciate that. And that's the best thing to, to, to be. Thank you very much for your very precious presentation, uh, presentations. And I'm really uh, happy to, to be part of it today. Thank you. See you another time. So thank you so much. It's time to say goodbye. But we will be waiting okay. for another lovely session of Seed Talk next week. So get ready for that. Bye-bye. Have a good night once yeah, again. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, thank you to everyone. Thank you.